is the go live button here blue? Can they remove the go live button from you? <laughs> it turns out OBS doesn't do that. There we go. What a great intro to the stream. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. They, they confiscated the button from Mikey. The button. The button that would be... Uh, anyway, apparently... Hello, I'm everybody. <laughs> How are we? Hopefully today will be lots of fun. It will also hopefully include Jan throughout the stream rather than just select parts. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on how annoying I am. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> Go through a um, button. Mike, Mikey, you're looking absolutely glowing and, dare I say, magenta. I am. There's a magenta screensaver on the computer. That's fine. Uh, how is everybody? We'll go over here so I can see things. Hope, hope There's Melagon. The go live button. There's Deirdre. Hello, Deirdre. Hello, Melagon. Uh, yeah. So the, we have a problem with the go live button almost every week. It turns well. So it's, it's a Mikey problem, really. But uh, yeah. So on OBS, there is an option now that you can either go live or just or just get ready to go and then have to push the live button. So I just press the. Let's go live straight away. Let's get into it. And then we were talking away. And then I was like, yeah, the stream's not working yet. And we need to work out what's going on. Yep. Um, and hello, Roserick. Welcome. Um, so today we're going to be doing our monthly just relax, hang out, play a game, answer questions, enjoy each other's company stream. Um, we were going to play a different game, but I accidentally didn't put the message in a way that would get to most people. So we're going to play a couple of levels of Human Fall Flat, depending mm. on how well Done. Ones we've not played before, um, uh, but but also I think it's a great opportunity to say that the game that we proposed in the announcements, which didn't go out to everybody, um, we do want to still do that. So if anybody's interested, then we'll uh, keep refreshing it until we've got enough people. I think yes. we need a minimum of four people in order to we do, do it. We uh, do. Okay, so if you don't know, this game we're talking about is called King of the Castle, and it's an online party game. It has. Um, uh, uh, the host plays the monarch. So Mikey will be the host. He'd make his character. You don't have to own the game. If you can, do I wear a crown. Can, I, character. can I make myself yes. a crown? Part, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yes. Can. Um, everyone else joins the game either through Steam or through a website app or through a phone app and gets put into one of three factions as a noble person. And the noble person factions have their own victory conditions and they want to take power they're going to have a scheme to take power and mikey's got his conditions to stay in power um which you select as the game goes and basically every time a major decision comes up involving one faction or mikey making a decision on law the nobles vote and it's it's a fun little social game and all the rest of it but the best bit and everybody else is, being the nobles right that's how you join in. right the best bit is the game picks the story characters from the players. So um, if one of the nobles takes the king aside to get, set him a, a rumor, it's going to be, for example, Roterick, who takes King Mikey aside and tells him of this, this dastardly scheme by Count M uh, Melikon. <laughs> so, <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> right. So that's, that's the kind of gist of it. But we need at least four people to play because there's three f factions um, you must have at least one person per faction. So we'll play that another time and we'll try and get some more notice going on that. Um, but yeah, so instead, we've so got um think of that. How are you this week, Mikey? I'm really good. I've been I've been very busy. We've had a lot of uh might as well chat about what's been going on with assets and stuff. Um I've been very tempted to actually not restart the assets as such. But actually, go back to a, an earlier point in them because we were talking. Okay, guys, this this is not all right, right? right yep. What's the one? Is it that button? Okay, this is what Jan's doing to me. Set me on fire. <laughs> in fact, let's leave it like that for the moment. There you go. Ah! Ow! It begins. We're still in the lobby, by the way. We haven't started the game yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, we were playing around and uh, playing around with things like: should we add vaulted ceilings? Should we add roofs and things like that? And I, I think I need to go back just a little bit in order to work out uh, some of the structural changes that will make to the actual assets themselves. And we also had a good discussion 
of how how we're going to give you guys the assets themselves because there yeah. there are a couple of ways that we can do that we can give you assets that have been really well optimized but the problem is then you can't do much with them because they are in their absolute final state um so we've wound back from that a little because the optimization stage will be a bit more personal to what type of game you're right. making and what you want to do with the assets themselves and there's also a time investment involved in it to optimize an asset will take a couple of hours to delete all the places that are that are not needed yet yeah, you get into that and i'll uh is this now the lot this is a, such an awesome lobby yeah and and the assets themselves we um we're, we're gonna no, rejig that's, them that's, just a, that's just a the little. winch mate you want you want the catch oh this thing here yeah i know what i'm doing it's fine you'll notice by the way i am playing a legit again <laughs> and mikey's apparently playing bob the builder because he can't bob the customize the character <laughs> that's um, standard Shall I start the level, by the way? Yeah, I think we can start the level. And of course, um, if people join in, and we'll uh, say this throughout the stream, if you join in, then um, if you've got any questions, just ask away in the chat. The chat's all the yeah. way down here today, because um, I've been... Oh, this is interesting. I've been playing around with my monitor and its positions and everything, so I'll have to look all the way down here. So, the assets for the role-playing game, at least the first god of course, the uh, procedural dungeon course, are going really well. Uh, we're still on like the first batch of them, because Mikey's finalising what the finals going to look like. Yes, it's, it's important not to not, hard bit. not to go ahead and just... Ooh, there's lots of things to do here. Sorry, I'm in the way. Okay, I'm wondering if we retract this and then rotate it. Maybe. Uh, we decided, by the way, to make it easy, we're just going to show Mikey's screen, because otherwise the frame rate difference sends me people busy. I oh, nailed it. Why do you want to go that way? I'm, wor I'm working on it, don't worry. <laughs> oh, does it not go that way? Oh, we need to retract it. Oh, because it's, it's extended again. Hang on a minute. <laughs> this is what I love about this game. Oh, I've got quite how much of a drunken toddler simulator this is. Okay, all yours. Yes, too far. Ooh, too far. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see if I can get to the end before. I think that's as far as it goes. Hmm. Interesting one. Yep, that's as far as it goes. So I can't easily see chat this week. Um, I mean, I can, but I won't be able to see Mikey. I mean, there are benefits. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what, what? Oh, you made it. Look at You can just jump better than I, yep. Yeah? I'm swinging on gaff tape. Actually, is that gaff tape? It looks no. like it. That's LX tape. LX tape? What's LX tape? Oh, I, li I like this. So, this is a little bit of a hack if you're doing two player. You can just jump off and you will appear on the next section as soon as you see that little saving at the top. No, you must do it properly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I surrender. <laughs> that worked too well. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you leave me alone. Okay, so we have. Oh, it looks like I've screwed myself over here. <laughs> Vice with a big weight hammer rocket thing up there. Okay, okay, okay. Shame they can't see my screen because you know, it's all competent. That's part of the fun. Wee, here we go. There we go, I did it legit. Even took my head off. Has anyone had any luck getting sick to the studio's paradise with God I can't imagine if that's work? Um I've had trouble no, I haven't tried since I've had trouble with other people's assets getting specifically to Down, 
help me. <laughs> um, I, can, uh, I think I'm caught on the end of it. Hold on to the ledge. Right, arms up. And then pull yourself up. <laughs> um, so we've actually come across this issue lots when it comes to assets, and it's actually one of the reasons why we um, wanted to focus just on. Mikey, your music is too loud. I can't hear my music, so there we go. Hopefully that's better for everyone. Um, okay, so I've not tried with Cinti, but I know with some other 3D assets, uh, specifically Quaternius, we've had trouble, or Kenny's 3D assets, because they assume you're importing into Unity or Unreal, which use different scales. So what I've had to do in the past is go in and rescale them to get them to work, and sometimes reorient them, which can be an issue. Um, yeah. TLDR, no, not with Cinti, but... Yeah. Um, so I have tried the Cinti assets in 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 all the engines, to be honest. And yes, Godo, they don't always import well. And the FBX importer that um, comes along with Godo Four doesn't always you... behave. All right. You stand on the box. I will try and get that. Is that a hammer to land on that crowbar to point you across? Yeah. Uh, I'll try and get on the box. So. That this is actually one of the reasons why we wanted to start creating asset packs for Godo. For Godo specifically, yeah, because it's such a getting various assets, especially by different creators, to work can be a real problem. Okay, I have what looks like a hammerhead. I have a, a vice. I'm going to open the vice. If I'm right, it should send you catapulting. Except I just fell off. So <laughs> it's okay. We saw that. That's that's hundred <laughs> percent. I mean, in Venice, I fell off because I didn't realize how close to the edge the, the dial was. But yeah, the um, assets can be a real a real tricky one, and obviously because there it goes. Whoa! Oh, it's cute. We had one job: look cool when the jump happens. <laughs> I just kind of flipped. I don't, I don't think we were supposed to do much on that. Way. Okay, so leave the chat open because I know what Mikey looks like. Uh, but the Cinti assets do look very cool. I love the, the... It's not really a low-poly style, but it's, it's something very thingy. So, oh, there's a button here. There is, and if you push it, the drill works. <laughs> oh, mate, 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 push the button, push the button. I, hang on, hang on, I fell off. <laughs> also, you didn't say it right. Push it! <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing this is what we need to do. Yeah, I think you're right. I, mean, I don't know how you do it with a single player. Oh, unless this is cotton reel, whatever that is. Maybe it keeps spinning for a while after you pushed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's try once more. This time we're feeling. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me try. Watch that. Yeah, I really like Cincy's assets. Um, they can be a bit on the expensive side, but you do get a I mean, lot, get a of, lot of stuff with them. Um, I've actually seen a few games and played a few games now. That, that, I thought I was pushing it. Um, there we go. Oh, legit. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how you do do this. Oh, uh, of course, you pick this up and you put it next to the Oh, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops. Oh, this is a very tricky window, so. Come on. Leg up. No. Okay. I'm going to try to do yeah, this. The, the, I mean, we're at the point now where we're still a very preliminary code. I mean, we've got tunnel generation and room generation working. We've got it so we have a single double sized room, a throne room, which is where the boss fight will happen. Um, which will appear exactly once and is connecting properly. I am working on a door system where rooms decide if you've got doors or not. If you have two rooms of the same type, it removes the wall between them and just counts it as one giant room, which leads to some really cool spaces. Um, still need to do prop generation algorithms. So if you have a table, it knows what kinds of props you can get in rather than always having the same ones each time. 
Um, and once we have finalized the assets, we'll go through and do that. Basically, I want to get it so that everything that we want to teach in the Dungeon Generation code is just good to go. And we can just start yeah. teaching it. But we know it's up to a good start because even at this early stage, whenever I send a build to Mikey, he just runs around for five minutes shooting particles at walls, going wee and knocking all the chip other stools off. Can't you just fall off and join me? No, it's not done any saving yet. Plus, this is a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, the um, one of the things that we could do. Ah! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> one of the things we could do later on um, in the stream is just show them where we are so far. No. Yeah, I'm too legit to quit. Ha <laughs> I made it. Wee. Oh. Can I move this? Oh, I can. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah, if you can't get them to work, then they're not that much fun. Um, and that's true of any assets, right? Because ideally, yeah. you want you want to get assets that you can drag and drop into your scene and expect it to work. Ooh, smart. Um, and hello, Gerard. Good evening. Oh, wait, we can't get through there, can we? This is on wheels. Can we move it? No. Uh, I think you've misunderstood how mass works. But I see a bit of jumping over here with a barbecue. Yes, I think it is. Failed. Okay, that goes backwards and forwards. Now, the French, who absolutely adore barbecues, have this story that barbecues are so called because they used to roast goats. And you do the entire thing from the beard to the tail. But when the English learned about it, they couldn't say it, so they pronounced barbecue. This is completely nonsense. Um, it's actually a, a indigenous South American form of cooking. Um, okay. But it's it's a lovely story. What are we supposed to do in here? I Wait, that's know. charcoal. Um, can we get up onto the vacuum cleaner? Why there... is there a vacuum cleaner by the barbecue? Perhaps it's on the blow setting to light the fire. Has anybody ever done that? Has anybody ever lit a barbecue and then With you... a vacuum cleaner? Yes. No. Oh, it was amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, don't do it with a flimsy barbecue, though, because you will melt through the... <laughs> the, the one uh... I don't understand is um, I've seen people use lighter fluid. In a barbecue, nah. not just to ignite it, but they'll they'll douse the whole thing and then cook it in roaring flames. Don't do that. Nice, gentle heat, everybody. More fire. Okay, how do we get into there? Do we need the spatula? Uh, I don't think, I think the spatula is something to move left to right by the looks of things. Are you sure it can't be unhooked? No, I'm not sure about anything. <laughs> I should go have a look. Oof. I'm imagining that's me pulling myself up there. Um, it doesn't look like it's got a way of unhooking. I might be wrong. Let's have a look. No, that's permanently attached. I'm pretty sure. So how do they use it? Unless I can take it all the way off here. Oops. Sorry, I'm in the way. Put it back. And then run, 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 run. <laughs> I feel like a telly tubby. Oh, this is an interesting one. You should, you should, it's, it's Jingy Winky. Straightforward. Gypsy. <laughs> that goes left, go. to, left to right. Perhaps we. If I stretch this out, can you climb up the tube? Wait, can we move these boxes and packets and things? Oh, is it a build build them up? We've moved the big one. Also, is that dust or smoke? Or... Well, I'm thinking we can get up onto this. Uh... Oh, I see. Onto and perhaps thing. pull it open. Yeah. Let's have a look. My depth perception, wow. Just jump into the wall. Ow. Ow. Yeah, those bits. Ow. <laughs> He's doing something. 
Does this move? No, that's not how mass works yet. Hey, I can't lift something I'm stood on. What is all this smoke? I don't see any sm Why don't I see smoke? What smoke? Where? There was huge white clouds of it over here. Um, interesting, I don't see any. Okay, other question. Can we get up Come there? On. Look like it. I mean, this seems to hint that we could... could... Shall I pass you stuff up? Yeah. I'll bring a book over as well. <laughs> oh, stuff in the face. Oh, I do see some over here. I think it's just the clouds of the level passing through. Uh, okay, there's nothing around Edric the corner. used a uh, air dryer for a barbecue. I can see that, yes. All right. Pass yes, over. I've used a hair dryer, I've used a heat gun, and I've used the exhaust of a car. Exhaust of a car, no. That... Uh, I had this, or had. I don't know what happened to it. Nothing to do yeah. with the bar. No! No! <laughs> I didn't realize you were grabbing onto it. That's why I was having difficulty moving it. <laughs> well, no, I, I tried to grab it when you were passing it up, but I fell off. Okay, I'm holding on now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We have no idea if this is the correct way. We don't. This is the first time we've seen this. Uh, no! <laughs> so, okay, I'm... you know what? I, I'm calling it. This is stupid. Can we move that? No. Cool. Can we get up there? Is there anything behind this thing? Ah, see? Big brain. I went all the way around for no reason. Oh, I know. It's just a smack of gum. Is there anything under here? No. So it looks like some of these kinds of slightly... Well, hang on. Can we... It seems to hint like if we use Is the this Hoover, thing on? I can't hear. I've not got game sound that I can hear. Me neither. Hmm. Well, easy way to find out. No, nope, if I stand in front of it, nothing happens. Okay. Yeah, I, I think we're supposed to suck we're doing this wrong. The, the stuff at the bottom. It looks like if you stand back here and look up, there's a way up to the top there, and we can go all the way around. So uh, how do we get switch. up the top there? Um, do we need those boxes we moved? Probably. To finish off a set of steps. So we've got that hole at the top there. So why do we need to move this spatula? Is the spat ah oh. oh if it, we move it across and up to where you are, then it'll act as a ramp. Oh dear! Smart. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I thought of that. <laughs> right, I'm going to do a run for it and catch. Nope, that didn't work. Nope. Can you just? Is that why it's... Can you use the round thing and I, edge it up? I, I think this is why it's supposed to be moved like this, so we can... Literally... Oh, yeah, okay. So if I get it to you here... That's as far as my arms go. <laughs> Drunken telly tubby. I think you might have to get it on the orange bit. E. Yeah. I'm going to let go. Oops, so am I. You know what? We're helping. Wait. Oh. Lego. You can probably grab it from up there now. Ah. <laughs> so I can get up here. And then, can you grab that? Mm -hmm. You got it? Awesome. We're genie eye. <laughs> oh, it's not good. Got it? Oh, thanks for pushing me off. Thumbnail's correct. 
Nice. I've got, got this. Boom. Oh, that took too many brain cells. Just let me coffee up again. Oh, give me some. I right, see ketchup and mustard. I see some plates. Can I throw plates? Yes. Okay. Whew. You coming? I'm trying. I've only got. Oh no, I fell off. I've only got little arms and legs. In game and life. I mean, yes. <laughs> Oh, there we go. No, no, get back down there. I've got an idea. <laughs> I can seal the door. <laughs> um, we need to go in this way. Uh, okay. Those that... tongs look like they swing. What do you reckon? I don't know. Let's ask them. Here we go. Oh, apparently it's really easy. <laughs> Legend free. Oh, okay. Right. Um, now what? Can we move well, these? We get these things out of the way. Nope, we can just pop down. Nope. Okay, what do we have? Is this a shimmy job? Oh, oh, we can get into there now, maybe. I'm going to go for it. Oh, very nice. I think this is our way round. First time. No scope. Hey. Wee. You ready? Let's go. This way. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, we can see it's sucking, so... So can we clear out all this nonsense? The ash at the bottom? Through. I want to see how they do this, graphically speaking. <laughs> I'm stuck on the wall, Mike. <laughs> anyway. I, I'll just uh, watch you do this. Uh, that looks like it's blowing. No, it's sucking. Okay. So that'll be a no. We're just not close enough? Let me help. Yes, that's changing. Nope. That's changing. It's going down. That's how they're getting rid of it. Oh, so it is. Nice. Very simple one. Oh, we have a question. Nice. We get have a question here. Oh, yep. in fact, we've got a couple of questions. We've got. I've been working in Gono 3.5.2, but most of the stuff I've been working on is 2D. As far as I've seen from your stuff, it was mostly 3D that's been improved. So, 3D versus 2D. Um, there's some great stuff in, in 2D. Um, the new Autotile stuff is very powerful, although currently the interface is a pain to set up. Um, the new navigation system is amazing. Uh, I'm trying to think what else 2D. I mean, there's a bunch of font changes and so on. Are you yeah. coming? I, I, I already did that and then just fell to my death. Yeah, are you coming? There we go. Uh, okay, remote control. <gasps> it's batteries. I see one battery here. So we've got a car. Oh, God, I hate fitting battery. Mike, you fit this battery. Oh, you know how good I am at this. Ready? You're way better at fitting batteries than I am. <laughs> really? <laughs> Come and have a look at what my character's got and done. <laughs> of course, that's okay. how I'd pick yeah, it up. Yeah, I'll plug you in. <laughs> there we go. I've plugged Mikey in. Plumbing egg. Uh, he's do, got do, the do, battery. Do, uh, do, there do. is a following question to that. And that question is, is it worth the switch to go forward for just 2D games? Yes. I mean, okay. Four is a lot fancier and better. Um, I've been enjoying it two D, although it does take some some conversions of practice. Um, ooh, Michael. Yeah, dinosaurs over this side. Um, 
I would recommend switching to four. Some of the documentation is very good. Some of it is very poor. Uh, specifically setting up auto tiles and tile maps is a pain. Um, and I know that they're looking at ways to make that better. But Oh, hang on a minute. Do we have to complete something? Oh, this has got two batteries, so I think we have to do something over here first. <gasps> yes, knock this ramp down. Or can I just jump and get it down? Oh, I see. Okay, I can do that. Go around the other way? Around the outside? Yeah, I think we have to knock it down and then we can climb up and jump into that and then you can rotate it round to the next bit. Come on, up again, up again. Come on, come on you two can. Oh, yeah, so it's always a tough one if you're moving from one version of an engine to another, especially yeah. when you're familiar with it. I mean, some of the node names and class names have changed. Uh, the way you do tweens and so on is different. Like, there are reasons not to convert. I would say it depends on how far along your project is, to be honest. Like, if it's almost complete, no. Um, if you're still at the early stages, yeah, it's probably worth it. Hey, hello. Okay, where to? I don't know. You know this Allosaurus? Go that That's way. right, I can recognize that dinosaur. Wait, this way? That way. <laughs> I've played enough Ark. I know it's an Allosaurus. Yeah, I don't know where this is going to take me, if it's going to take me anywhere useful. There's a light I can jump on. Yeah, but why? Because, whoa, look, I'm on now on a light. Yeah, but why? <laughs> I don't know. Oh! I'm going to have a look inside this building, if there is a way in. So, no, yeah. Isn't. Oh, we need to get these batteries out. The, was this just for fun? <laughs> no, no, no. How do we get the battery out? By we can't it. get it over the fence. We can't get it through the fence. Oh. So we need to make... No, put the battery back for now, you Muppet. Oh, yeah, you need it. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> All right, that's in neutral. All right, let's plug this back in. Very Beep. nice. There we go. That's in properly. Um... So it's it's very unlikely that God O three is going to get a lot more development, bug fixes, and all the rest of things. I mean, it's still got very good support, but I yes, don't know, be uh, but that will features. wane over time. So the question as to whether or not to bite the bullet it's and go for four. Yeah. Well done, Melicon. Got there before we did. Okay, stand by. I was right. It was something to do with the lamps. <laughs> oh, well. Just right. Okay. Goldie locks it. Oh, come on. <laughs> I like how this game makes you forget which one's left and right. Right. Or gr just grabbing the wrong thing completely. There we go. Oh, wow. I can't. Ah, there we go. Doing, 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 doing. Yeah, this, this is. <laughs> I made it. Hey, Mike, you can plug this battery in for me. <laughs> I definitely don't cheese this game ever by just holding down jump. You got this, mate. You got this. We got a spare one. I think I do. Alright. Now we have to get this car through, right? Is that what we're doing? I presume so. Right. There's a forward back and a left and Oh right. yeah, here we go. There's a there's a tennis ball on a string stuck in this pipe. So bring that round. I'll hook this onto the hitch and then take the tennis ball out. Come on, Michael. I've got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
This is almost. <laughs> This is so much as good as my driving in Zomboid. <laughs> I was going to say. Right, let's nudge this across. So I need to go towards us, yeah? So if I reverse... Uh, just down here, where I'm heading now, oh. there's a tennis ball on a string shoved into a drain pipe. We need to get it out. All right, if I reverse... I mean, you no, you want the front of the vehicle because it's got the hook. I was trying to turn around. Ah, too far. Go back again. Do you want me to do the... Oh, you, you can, yep. All right, stop. No, no. Okay, this is going to require clear, non-stressed, unambiguous communication. <laughs> We're so hosed. All right. Am I lefty-righty or are you downy? I'm lefty-righty. Okay. All right, let's go forward and turn left into that fence. Let's try that again. <laughs> right, you ready? Straight. No, you have to tell me what to do. And turn to left. And straighten up. Oh, where's the thing? I can see the thing now. So let's reverse out okay. of that. So that I can see the hook now. I couldn't see where it yeah, was yeah. before. You okay there? You seem to be doing the hunky cookie. Okay. Right. You ready to turn to the left? Yep. Okay, let's go forward for a bit. Does it go left again? That's the wrong left. Ah, I fell off. Oh, can we can we move this thing to it? How how stretched is it? What? They don't give you a lot of room to stand on here, do they? No. So how far is that? Uh, it's not far from it. So yeah, if you go backwards now a little. And... Yep, and now go full left and forward. <laughs> I hung myself with it. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, that, that'll do. That'll do. Stop there. I'm currently under the vehicle. Do I have to do everything? It's currently round my waist. Come on. <laughs> well, in that case, why don't you just run? <laughs> I've tried. I've tried. Oh, seriously. How did I get my... Is this, this representative of Mikey on the M3? I mean, yes. <laughs> Come on. I'm just can standing I... here watching you trying to get out of this thing. <laughs> Mate, if that's the case, why don't you run and see if you can pull it? I, I did try earlier. Okay, you know what? Grab the vehicle. Yep, yep, yep. Hold go. on tight. <laughs> I was just about to say, God, yes! It worked. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get through? No, you're carrying a tennis ball. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, you know, you're going you're gonna to lock me out. Thank you. <laughs> no. Bad monkey. <laughs> Can you get through? Ah, oh, you got through. I'm totally. I, I've glitched. Is ah, oh, I could totally glitch this. Mate, come over here. There we go. Hey, hey, Jan. I've got a trick to show you. <laughs> God, I'm running away. I'm gonna play with this. Ooh. Oh, chaos. Ooh. <laughs> Is that lava? I don't know, but it, I thought for a minute that this gnome was carrying dynamite, but no. Oh, I mean, is that lava? It's sap, isn't it? Have you seen the theme of this level? Oh, no. <gasps> Mate! The boat, the boat. There's a magnifying glass. Okay, I'll bring the magnifying glass, you bring the match, because I, I know how to fix this. I just have to find the magnifying glass. There it is. You got a match? I think it sets fire to yes but not here because somehow can we move this flower with an axe yes we need a little axe okay oh we can I've burn seen it down. a little axe oh have you in this guy's hand give me that that's mine no nope, not you <laughs> <laughs> 
It's just that. This is human fall flat, not gnome dating simulator. Let go of my hand. Did you see where the gnome ended up? Out of the edge. No, he's, he's teleported back. Nice. I have fire! Okay. Oh. Fiery sap. You can set fire to the sap. Okay. Over here. Over here. Over here. Bring the mat. Set fire to the match. Whoop. Yeah. Nothing. And then bring it over to where I am. That was a thing of grace and beauty. No, Michael. It's fine. It's fine. There's a candle. You have a match. Light the candle. If in doubt, use more fire. Don't, don't remind me of the old LucasArts puzzles. Oh. I, mean, I love Simon Max, but oh my god. Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Where'd the match go? I'm not being quick enough. Your turn. <laughs> okay. Actually, here's an idea. Stand halfway down with it, with one match. <sighs> we can Olympic torch this. Come on. You ready? No. I'm grabbing the floor instead of the match. This is one of those incompetent simulator games. There we go. Oh, one don't... day we should try Barotrauma on the stream. I do want to try, try Barotrauma. Go. Hey. We are nice. Go. <laughs> I've been Leoed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a jump. What a jump. Am I dead? Oh, it was totally enough room on the lifeboat for me. Uh, yeah. I've been Leo again. Hang on, the surface of the water can be grabbed. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Good. Okay. Evening. You shall be mine, Nemo. Get away from behind me. Get away from behind me. <laughs> no. You stay there. Okay, here goes the boat. Get out the way. I'm Geronimo. Do you reckon that uh, fountain at the end is a uh, yes jump pad? <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Did you make it? Yeah, of course I made it. I'm the best at games. I'm just chilling here on the ground. Ha <laughs> ha! Genius! Give us a wave, Yan. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Merlin. Merlin? Am I pronouncing that right? I hope I am. Hi, Merlin. Are you coming or what? Yeah, sure. Ah, there we go. No, do it properly. <laughs> okay, so... uh, okay, we have whatever that is. It's a wedge. We have a bucket. Oh, there's another thing up here. We have whatever this thing is. <laughs> Genius. I think that's just a little bit beyond. See if I can lift you up. Hey! <laughs> okay, what am I doing with it? I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nailed it. There we oh, go. there's a Nailed thing, it. thing you can go inside. And... It's got a, I don't know what this is, Chris Packet? Chris Packet. I found more of this ash. Do, do you maybe think it's compost? Maybe. 
Sandbag? Sandbag. Stop calling me that. <laughs> okay, we have this bucket. Oh, do you reckon we can knock all of that over? Which is full of sand. Right. Yeah, I reckon we can. So I think we can get up on top of this black um, container. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming that was supposed to be running up the ledge. You're there, I want a ledge. Okay. Forward! Nice. That! Ah! <laughs> this is not wood. This is, this is styrofoam. <laughs> nope. Oh! Hey! Here we go. Push. Oh. <laughs> Surprisingly solid. Hey. I'm taking a castle. Boing. Okay, now what do we do? I don't know. Okay, we can we get on top of this sand bucket? I think that's probably the way the way forward. I can see the exit up there. So we've just got to do a little bit of building. Now we've got our blocks. Okay. So welcome to our engineering course. Where we uh, play with bricks. Hey, Mikey. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's really clever. Who's king of games? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I just grabbed on the pads and came up. Oof. Oh, there's, 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 there's more to do. It looks like a. Oh, this looks like a jump pad. Oh, yeah, I gotta do it the long way around so the blocks come off. Okay, this moves and so does the frog. Splat. Hello. Wait, how come I'm up here and you're down there? And what are you doing? I found a playing thing. I presume we attach this to the frog. Uh, yes, but I would suggest the other direction. Also, what's in here? Oh. You have to do this one first. On my way. Ah, hello. Ah, oh, okay, so. Some water. We so can you plug that in. It's got some water. Be right back. Be right back. Plug it in. Where's the. Where's the bit to plug it into? Oh, there. In yet. I'll try and. E. Okay. I presume it works like this. Okay, now we need to get it out. Ooh, hello. Oh, darts. Is this going down? <laughs> With us. No, it's it's got a valve in it. Nice. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Then we cling onto the rocket and jump, yeah? I mean that's one way of doing it. Oh, and that knocks down the wall over there. Nice. Maybe. Okay, so can I yeah, this can be aimed. So you load one. Right. I reckon we have to do it. Uh, let's do this one here. Whoa! Hmm. Both hands. Come on. You can do it. There we go. Uh, 
don't know why I'm looking. Up. Yep. I think this is a sideways job. You're a sideways job. Ah! Almost, almost, almost. Gently. No! Oh. Alright, you know what? I'll keep this in place. <laughs> he says lifting it up. <laughs> there yep. we go. Alright, lift. If I just stretch this far enough, would it unplug? No, yeah, I've done hook it. Mm. Can, I'm going to guess we're going to need that, but let's try it anyway. I want you to hold on to the rocket as I, <laughs> I said this. I'm, I'm absolutely going to hold on to the rocket. <laughs> Here we go. Geronimo! Oh, no. Fail. Oh, came out of my hand and fell down. Okay, so that's not the answer. So I think we need Froggy. Froggy. Okay, let's bring this over to Frog Friend. Yup. Because then we can get that weight down, whatever that is. Oh. Ah. Help. You can move frog. No, 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 no. Come back. <laughs> frog goes there. <laughs> oh, just playing. Right. Okay. You ready to do some jumping? Ribbit. Nope. Okay. Ah <laughs> oh, it's... it's unplugged. Good. It's also really hard to stand on. What? Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so this isn't flat, which hang on, wait. Mikey? That's not helping. Right, I'm going to stand still, hands off the controls. Yeah, I'm trying to make it so we can actually do it. So if you do that, we can't. I thought yes, you were going to go flying. That's not even... It's not flat enough to stand on, it's a problem. Perhaps we're not supposed to stand on it. No, I don't see how else this is doable. Oh. You ready? All right, try that. Hit it. Doing? Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Okay. I think try we. I think we need to knock the wall down, and this is to help us get across. Well, Ooh. okay. You want to try knocking the wall down without the thing? Either way, we still need this, right? I think so. Oh, what's through there, by the way? We've completely like ignored an area. Marbles. Ooh. Hey, Michael. Yep. Is all of that just a little bit of a side game? No, there's often multiple ways to do this. Like, I don't know if I can actually get up here. It's nice knowing you. Nope. Here he comes. Okay, so. We could try and get a rocket across, but we can't aim the rocket over. Does it not go any further down than what it's currently angled at? Correct. That's as far as it goes. Oh. Right. Um, there's marbles. I don't really see what they're for. And 
and then we've got this contraption here. If I stand on this end, um, well, it's getting up on this side that's the problem. Oh, ah. right. Don't jump off, don't jump off. I'm in the exit. Hey. <laughs> awesome. Oh. oh, look at that. It's on the hour as well. I think we've got just enough time to show people the dungeon, how it is at the moment. Go for it. I mean, I've actually made changes, but I've broken it since you've seen it, so don't show my one. Show your one. Sounds like a plan. Uh, let me close that and I'll bring you over here so I can see you properly. Hello, Michael. Hello. Uh, right. Yeah, so hot code, hot assets. It's all very hot. It's not cooked yet. Also, first person, not third person at the moment. Right. And the third person probably won't come in i mean we could do third person but like the actual models and stuff won't come until a later course because we're going to need the animations and the character models for that so let's focus on creating the, the dungeon first are you going to share your screen with me as well uh i could do otherwise i'm going to be delayed i don't mind it's a good idea though so share screen yeah. excuse me blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is currently set to a 10 by 10 grid, not including the start room or the exit room. Oh. So this... Oh, Jan. Mm. <laughs> Are you sense. stuck again? <laughs> Instantly. Uh, what I will do quickly is just hide that out of the way. And then go back to the dungeon. So there's no look up or down at the moment. There's the start room over there and this room here. Oh. It was a shame because we, we just had a double room to begin with to we show did. to show that off. Uh, we've got a double room here. Yep. So the way that the well, double my room is made... calling that the uh, server room. There's a storage room. Ooh, is that a double? Yes, a triple. Triple room. This has added so much variation into the game now. Uh, here's my first pass at an off-duty bar. Obviously, this isn't finished. But... I've not touched that. Yeah. <laughs> it must have I need to make them come in asleep, because uh, if if the physics jostles it, it'll knock it off. <gasps> that is an awesome long room. I nice. like the pulsy green as well. One of the things I actually like... Oh, you still have your room set to way too many, that's why. <laughs> but it's awesome, right? <laughs> I mean, it's cool. They can't see the corridors, but... Double bar? We had a quadruple bar earlier. It was awesome. We did. Well, you have two double bars, because you have no corridors. <laughs> you need some corridors, Michael. Okay, let's go, let's go into the code, and... No, you don't need to do the code. Press the tile node. Go to the inspector. And change this back down to what twenty five? Was it before? Reset. Just press reset. The little circling button. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, was Take there anything? Minute. Five. I'm going to turn the ceilings off. Okay. Yeah, it, it actually works surprisingly well for an FPS. Yes. <laughs> We're going to bring like with the ceilings off and the way the uh, volumetrics work. This would work really nicely with a sort of necropolis village set as well. Yes, because if I, I'm heading back to the beginning, just seeing things like that is it just adds so yeah. much more dimension to the level. And there, there is only that one room that stretches up high enough, but there is uh, different glows from the different rooms. So as you're walking around, you can almost identify the room you're about to enter in from its ominous glow. The Mikey trap. Uh, now, somewhere on this level is a throne room. Not yet decided on the mechanics of this. It might be if you defeat the boss, you get an extra reward, or it might be you have to defeat the boss in order to leave the level. If it's the latter, 
we're going to have to make that room next to the exit because finding one and then backtracking to find the other is going to be a pain. Yes, yeah, definitely. Especially if the the throne room spawns right at the beginning of the level and then you don't you find the exit first and then you yeah. have to find the throne room and then somehow find your way back again. Like that's not a fun gameplay loop. But if it's just an extra bonus thing, then great. I mean, the way that I've managed to find... Uh, don't look at those back face <laughs> assets. Yeah, we've not swapped the assets out yet. No. Um, but yeah, one of the ways of going through this maze is just to go left all the time, but that doesn't always all work. Right all the time. Yeah. No, it doesn't always work. Uh, it doesn't work with the new room generation because you can end up just going in a circle. But here we go. Look at that. That's a legit boss fight, that is. I like the uh, the mesh text. It's one of my favorite new um, assets in God of War. We have one actually of the got a... its types is, is a text. Yeah. We've got, we've got a uh, fire pit coming up at some point. The asset is made, but uh, not incorporated in the level yet. Oh, you, you've got the asset pit. Nice. Yes. Also, these statues are pretty legit, if I do this myself. I just pause there for people to take in the. <laughs> yeah, just... I mean, you might have to illuminate them to see. Yep, it's absolutely just... for Mikey to pull in. And Mikey fall in trap. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen you go through the th throne room and not wear a skull hat. I was getting to it. I like the effect on that skull, by the way. Look at my hat. Look at my hat. <laughs> my hat is amazing. Look at my hat. Also, the first time you've gone through a storage room without knocking over all the stacked stools. Did I miss the stools? Repeatedly. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we almost played Viscera cleanup duty after Mikey spent 10 minutes just doing this to all the physics. <laughs> there's, so there's something very nice about the cathartic. It's weirdly satisfying, isn't it? Very much so. Can I find the exit in time? Is that it? I think that might... No. It had That's a red it. glow, so I thought it might be it. Oops, I bumped into the table. <laughs> you just went past the fire pit as well, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Mikey, feel... you lost. I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> well, this is certainly something we've got to consider um, gameplay-wise. Yeah. Um, well, do we, we do don't a have to... map? Do we do a yeah. breadcrumb? I don't really want to do a breadcrumb trail. But at the same time, it, um, it is... I mean, it, it comes down to what's the game, right? What's the essential experience? Is it explore? Is it follow the quest? Is it defeat the boss? Because if it, exploring is part of it, we don't want to give a full map and a full breadcrumb trail. No. And of course, if part of it's random generation, then... Right. Um, I do like, like I could long make a, a series of dots that navigates from where you are to the exit. That's That's doable. I mean, a hint system, perhaps. Um, but if it's just like explore and find the exit, we need to make sure that there's not too much repetition. There's enough landmarks. Yeah. And that it's actually satisfying to do. So what right are, now, there's not quite enough room types. One of the things we were talking about earlier was having a, a, a sort of a, a mini map, but then also a fog of war on the mini map. Yeah. Which would. You know, you only get what you've explored. And this is actually quite big. How big is this at the moment? 10 by 10. 10 by 10. So it's it's quite a, and quite each a hefty maze. tile is 20 by 20. So it's a 200 by 200 meter um, it's a, dungeon. It's, a, it's big. Now, there are limitations. With this algorithm, the dungeon is always going to be square. Yes. There are other algorithms we could use. It kind of works in this case, but it does make it feel like an old school map. So I want to show everybody just the end. Okay. So, oh, you've minimized it to five to five. That's fine. Yeah, I agree. No breadcrumbs. Like they're not fun. Um, I mean, the other thing is a map that you can pick up. Yes. As an item in in in, in the overworld. Part. Then we have to. Because there's a couple of ways you can do a minimap, right? You can have a camera directly overhead, which looks weird in this kind of game. Um, okay. Hey, so here, here's here's a little <laughs> bit of. Uh... Well, hang on. Let me let me let me finish what we're saying, and we'll talk about this bug. Um, 
The other way would be to have a 2D tile map that reads the 3D grid map. Well, it's not actually a grid map, but the 3D tile information turns that into a tile map that is put on a viewport on your screen. But with another layer on top of it that, that you have to your character yeah. unpaints unpaints is that the word um, it raises as you go forward so you what's draw when you hit it so what's that caused by okay so part of the optimization that i've done here is if you're far enough away from a light source or a particle in this case 40 meters if you're more than 40 meters away um they'll just hide things i've got a thing called player detector anything you put as a child of player detector will be hidden if you are 50 meters or 40 meters away. However, we have only one level. So I just made it a cylinder. But I forgot that when you go down the stairs, you go under the cylinder. So it needs to be a sphere. And there we go. It's a very straightforward solution. Yep. So here we have a five by five grid. So much, much smaller. Could the levels be added to at runtime? I mean, we are. I mean, we're doing the whole thing at runtime. But for instance, this room is placed separately during generation. It's not part of the algorithm, which is saying, don't add anything to these two rooms and still connect them, um, which took a, a, a decent amount of code to, or a decent amount of futzing around with code to get right, because I was finding all kinds of fun bugs. Um, but the exit room is actually tacked on the side. Now, you could... That is so satisfying. One thing you could do is you could pick a certain amount of rooms and just remove them before you generate the maze. So what it's doing right now is it's a simple four uh, X in width, four Z in depth, and just going through every single cell and saying, this is what the cell is. But you could say, okay, now remove these ones, in which case you get a non-square map. I mean, you can't tell what shape it is whilst we're in here. Really, you I mean, can't. all the rooms are square. Although there's things we could probably do about that. But we've also made the decision that there's always going to be four exits. You know, it's, it's there is an old school feel to this, um, which I think makes it feel a little bit retro, even though. Hey, hey, found a bug. How'd you do that? I know, right? Um. Congrats. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Um, <laughs> My death. That's what that was. We're not actually on low poly right now, but we want to go for a low poly ish aesthetic, low poly light, mid poly. Um, but we're still sort of playing around with what we could do to, to get that aesthetic and make it performant. Right now, these assets aren't quite optimized, um, but they're pretty solid in terms of performance. Like while Mikey's streaming, he's still hitting a solid thirty frames a second. It's actually, he's not it, streaming. He's it's locked 60. to thirty because of the stream. Okay. Um, he's asked me to unlock it because on his computer it just locks at sixty, which is deep, Godot's default lock, um, and it means it's hard to tell what the performance oh, differences are. Here we go. Are you ready? You know, it might be because it doesn't like five by five. It's possible. Geronimo, do me a favor and try six by six. Actually, we have to go. <laughs> We could definitely play around with that to our heart's content. Oh, yeah. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, it's really really coming along. I've been able to see the assets and use has changed um, certain things. Like, just playing it in-game is not the same as walking through it in first-person sort of view within Blender itself. It changes the aesthetic completely. Having the assets, even at this stage, changes the whole feel and the lighting because... Having the extra depth of those arches uh, just, yeah, just adds so it, much to it. Sending the spell down there makes a huge difference, and it's yeah. a lot of fun sending it down there as well. Mm -hmm. So we have got over the hour, and yeah. I've had a lot of fun. I like how I, have to. I like how um, uh, human fall fat it really does last about an hour for us. Hello. Perfect, good. and we only got ridiculously stuck most of the way through. Yeah. Uh, so the the game that we posted about is called King of the Castle. King of the Castle. And do you want a quick rundown of that before we finish up? So people who joined us later. King of the Castle is on. an online party game, effectively, where the host, let's say Mikey, plays the monarch. Everyone else joins in either via Steam if they want to buy the game, yeah. or via web app, or via phone app. 
Uh, you don't have to buy the game. You can play for free. And if you want to buy the game, it's currently $5 or four pounds, um, which is the full price of the game. And what happens is the game takes us through a story. As you join, you are put into one of three noble houses, um, each one of which will, during the story, come up with their own victory conditions and try and work towards them. Uh, meanwhile, Mikey has his victory conditions, which involves having a spouse, having an heir, and doing something else. Um, and every time Mikey tries to pass a law or makes a regal decision or something happens in your house, you vote on it. Mm -hmm. But the game pulls its NPCs from the player list. So we might have a case where there's a trial and Deirdrick accuses Gerard of cheating in a duel. And we have to decide who we're going to believe and what we're going to do about it. And it's free for everybody to join in. They can actually join in through either a web link for a browser or the app on the yep. phone. Yep. So we think that we think that'll be a lot of fun. We do need a minimum number of people, so we'll we'll it's air a small it. minimum. But yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Four, I think, is the minimum. So we will uh, have a look at this in four weeks' time so, and see if we can announce it a bit sooner than the day as well. So people people can be ready to join in if they if they want to. But. Yep. That about wraps it up for this week. Next week will be uh, a normal update week, so we'll we'll go through more depth of what we've been up to, rather than just teasing it. And yeah, we'll see you then. Thank you for joining us, and uh, thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us. <laughs> Perfect. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Where is it? Press it. I'm working on it. Press it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>